Hey folks, Lana here with Cowboy Boots House and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today we're talking Wrangler jeans. Mainly, the difference between the Western Store's Wrangler jeans and the Department Store's Wrangler jeans. And why this deal is going to cost you more than this one. Well, let's get into it. <music> So, to start with, I want to tell y'all how I came about making this video. So, the other day I was scrolling through our Facebook page, Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts, and one of our members uh, posted on the page an uh, awesome question. Uh, what is the difference between the Wranglers that you purchase at the department store, actually Walmart, compared to the one you purchase at the Western store? and I happily answered that question after I finished answering it I thought to myself this is gonna make an amazing video and uh, that's how I came about doing it so uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the jeans here so I got the five star uh, the trailblazer and the rustlers from uh, the Walmart department store uh, jeans so uh, now I'm a big Wrangler fan just want to let y'all know I have all my shirts are pretty much Wranglers and all my jeans are Wranglers so uh, I also have all the uh, Wranglers 13 MWZ cowboy cuts and the uh, the 20x so let's go ahead and start with uh, with what the difference is so one of the main difference that you're gonna feel is the weight of the jeans the ones that you buy at the department stores are going to be just a little thinner and it's meant to basically be for that person like this one is a relaxed fit so it's for the person who's going to be maybe working out on his yard maybe just running errands or going to a football game something like that uh, that's actually how they market these jeans so they're all going to be made in Mexico they're going to be a little bit uh, thinner so it's going to be more of a summer jean but I've been working with these jeans at a at a store uh, you know just doing uh, various things uh, not nothing hard work and uh, you know don't get little tears and stuff like that so it's fine it kind of gives them personality but again they are going to be a little thinner but for twenty dollars they are very good quality jeans and I do like them a lot um, they, they, they definitely you know carry that name and for twenty dollars you can't go wrong they are going to be made in Mexico so this is one of their relaxed uh, fit so uh, like I said it's just gonna be a little bit thinner then I got one of the straight fits here this is the trailblazer which is also part of their five stars line and uh, this one's gonna have a little W now these jeans I really do like them a lot for uh, one purpose and that is when I get into a suit uh, they fit nice. Uh, they're not too tight like a slim fit. I don't like slim fit jeans. They have a little bit of a wash on them uh, that kind of looks cool. And um, they just look really nice with a suit. Now again, uh, they are going to be a thinner material because it is still part of the same line. So it's probably the same denim. It's going to have a little bit more elasticity on this one. It's made like that. Uh, but they fit really nice and look really good, but it's definitely gonna still be in the same quality But for twenty dollars a pair of jeans that you could actually wear with a suit and everything and looks good And it still has that W so folks know you're actually still wearing a pair of Wranglers. I like that a lot, you know um, so uh, Definitely when I wear a suit I'm wearing cowboy boots and I'm also wearing a felt hat so I like to to dress it up, but let no uh, let folks know that I'm actually wearing uh, still Wranglers, you know. So uh, that's really nice, and for twenty dollars, you can't beat that. And you're not going to be working in these jeans; you're just literally going to be going out to maybe some nicer events, weddings, uh, those uh, kind of things. So you're not really going to be beating up on them. Next up is going to be the cheapest one out of the line, and that's going to be your Rustler jeans. Rustler is a sister brand of Wrangler. So basically what it's supposed to be is a 
some some kind of like a work jean that you could purchase for cheaper uh, not really much of a cowboy and jean just more of like a working out on the yard maybe working out in some some places like construction zones and stuff like that um, jeans that you're not really going to care too much about you could work a little bit more on those because these are I actually noticed that they're a little bit on the thicker side uh, compared to this uh, they actually put heavyweight denim uh, comfort and durability so yeah these are going to be definitely based on more for comfort more for um, you know that regular fit and they're not going to have any de uh, design on them like they're not going to have any fade or anything like that they're actually very close to these cowboy cut jeans as far as color um, but definitely for $12.98 still having that Wrangler name and quality uh, it, it, it's not it's not bad at all for a jean that you just want to use to maybe paint something or work on something where you know you're going to get them dirty and you're going to beat up on them and you know hop in your truck and do some more dirt work and whatever that's a great pair of jeans for that so those twelve dollars ninety eight cents you can find them at walmart too um so that's not a bad deal uh right there so this is definitely jeans that are not meant for the same thing that these are for but they are at a good price and you're still getting the name now moving on to the cowboy cut jeans so these are cowboy cut right here so these are going to be your wrangler these ones these particular ones are actually going to be a 947 str which is still the same it's still going to be a cowboy cut um now you could see them from the uh little wrangler uh, leather patch rod there uh, these are maybe a little bit more on the straight cut slim side but more more like more like straight uh, like I said I don't like to wear uh, slim now the difference between these and those even though they look the same essentially they're they're quite a bit different so this denim is going to be much thicker so basically when you're falling off horses when you're working on, on on ranches and and actually you know riding in rodeos and things like that they're going to be able to take the abuse a lot better than say these jeans because the denim is just so much thicker uh it's going to be hard for them to rip uh another thing is they don't have a whole lot of elasticity so the sizing is going to be different now that's a very important thing to keep in mind now I wear usually a 30 in the five star or anything that I purchase from these. Uh, they do have a little bit more elasticity, so my waistline is going to be a 30 on these deals. And then on these, I have to go with a 32 or 33. So your size is going to be varying uh, depending, but these are usually going to be two to three sizes more, uh, just because they don't have as much elasticity and uh, they, they're, they're fitting a little bit different they're supposed to be fitting a little bit tighter just to make sure that you know you're, you're right on par kind of like a good fitting boot uh, also you're going to notice that uh, with these you're going to have a little bit lower hanging right there so this is going to be a little bit longer and the reason behind that is so you can actually sit on a horse and even if your jeans maybe lack a little bit of slack um, or stack actually basically you could get up on that horse sit down and you got a little bit of room before your jeans start riding up on your boots uh, which we all know nobody really wants that so that's why this uh, this hangs up a little bit lower uh, and that's actually very well designed so a lot of these jeans are going to be uh, like that no matter what even if you get a slim cut straight or you know boot cut now I don't recommend getting boot cuts in these jeans because they're going to be so wide that it's just going to look like a bell bottom that's what I've noticed and you know most any Wrangler jeans that's what I've noticed it with uh, they, they end up looking like bell bottoms so I rather not get boot cuts now in these jeans you could actually get uh, various uh, styles so this is going to be a actual 13 MWZ uh, this is a lighter wash one as you all could see this one still hangs 
pretty low as well and um, it's still going to be the same except that you know maybe the cut might be a little different this is the one that I've actually cut a little bit right there to make him a little bit wider around here and uh, these are a size 34 on the uh, on the length so like I said I like a little bit more stack on mine but essentially you're they're going to be the same uh, thickness material and they're going to be able to take the abuse a little bit better if you guys could see the difference is that uh, these have a little bit of a uh, more substantial stitching than these uh, right here the stitching is a little thicker on these and uh, that's why there are more now these jeans range from about you can find them sometimes at thirty dollars thirty five dollars on sale depending on the one you're getting all the way up to like sixty or seventy dollars now uh, these are pro competition jeans as they call them they're, they're the, like I said they're the cowboy cuts and uh, you can get them in various colors so I got them in a uh, black here uh, these actually fit really nice around my jeans so I didn't even have to cut them or anything like that I got them in the tan and the good thing about these you, you think they're tan and they're gonna get dirty quick well they, they really don't uh, even these black ones they don't really get dirty all that quick it's kind of like a like a really tough boot you know just they, they just kind of stay clean that heavy cotton just kind of wicks dirt and, and a lot of stuff away so that's one of the reasons uh, now this one does have a little bit more elasticity on there but they are uh, they're, they're supposed to be more of the comfort one uh, these are the let me see these are the 47 MAC they're still part of the cowboy cut uh, like I said basically that long hanging right here and the thicker cotton but these are just gonna be a little bit more relaxed and they're gonna have a, uh, a, a nicer shade to them now so that's all the cowboy cut ones now uh, a lot of the guys are liking the Kimes Ranch, uh, Kimes Ranch uh, jeans and the airy jeans that have a little bit more style and that's what I think that they've turned the 20x line jeans into kind of the same uh, specs that they've put on these uh, uh, cowboy cut jeans which is like kind of more old-fashioned and I like them for that but sometimes nowadays you know them boys like to wear something with a little bit more fade uh, some things like that so basically they got these 20x jeans right here still keeps a really nice thickness I think they're a little bit thinner than the cowboy cuts are but they're still nice jeans competition they got a little bit lower hanging than the uh regular five star wranglers but a little bit higher than the um cowboy cuts and they're just going to be a little bit more stylish now i noticed that these are a little wider opening right here that's kind of the style that's going on now uh especially on the relax it almost feels like it's a boot cut uh i would definitely uh recommend that y'all actually stack these at least two sizes because uh, if not they're just not gonna hang low enough at least that's what I've noticed now everybody could be different and again I do recommend y'all go with about two or three sizes still uh, they do not have a lot of elasticity in them so you do need to make sure that they actually fit you well but once you actually get in the store if y'all have a Western store near you I would definitely urge you to try them now uh, that is why these jeans are going to be a little bit more money they're just going to last you a longer time they look really good uh, and they're just a higher quality of jeans now if y'all actually like these ones um, that's great if they fit your lifestyle you know you, you can't go wrong with a $20 jean but uh, if you just want a little bit more of those uh, premium work jeans and if y'all are actually riding and working ranches then a few of these uh cowboy cut jeans i know they're going to be a little bit more but they're not a whole lot more compared to say Kimes ranch which is charging a hundred dollars up and uh area jeans which are charging seventy dollars up you know now they're going up to like even a hundred dollars a jeans so that's kind of ridiculous in my opinion uh the Wranglers are still giving you a way better value even on their cowboy cut 
and y'all could definitely find deals on these and if you guys don't feel like you need that or you want to dress your jean or you want something a little different then definitely those twenty dollar jeans even thirteen dollar jeans if you're just going to use them for uh working around the house those are going to be perfect for you well that is all i have for y'all today i hope that answered your question if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for your support uh if you have any comment please leave them in the section below we'll see you on the next one